Okay, let's talk about uh, three set Venn diagrams. So we have three sets of elements now. We've A and we've B and we've C. Okay, and there's different regions generated when we have a three set Venn diagram, and I've numbered them, but the one in the very middle is the intersection of uh, A, B, and C. So uh, this lists all the elements that appear in all the three sets. Okay, and then if we just break out from there, we've two, four, and six, and two, four, and six, uh, they list, uh, they list those elements that appear in two of the sets. So here there's four elements that uh, are common to both A and to B, plus whatever is in there, okay? And uh, so there's two, four, and six. And then uh, five, seven, and three, uh, they just list all, uh, sorry, they just list uh, the elements which only occur in one set uh, each, okay? So, uh, elements appear in all the sets that are listed there. Elements that appear in these two sets or these two sets or these two sets are listed here. And elements that only appear in this set are there, this set there, and this set there. Okay, One set, two sets, all sets. And uh, in terms of the terminology then we can see that for 7 uh, to find that, that's B less B uh, less a union C. So it's B less A union C. So A union C uh, would be all there. Okay, so it'd be B less that. If I covered all that up, I find how many elements are in there. Okay, and say for, for region 5, it's A less B union C. So I have to find or identify B union C. It's all of that. We did that in the very first video. Okay. And it's just the elements that appear in this region here. So it's like I'm covering here up and I'm just revealing this bit here. And so on. And here's an example. Uh, let's say we have a universal set here with these elements and we have another element taken from that A and the, sorry another set A another set B and C so draw the Venn diagram for that well the first thing we want to do is find A intersection B intersection C so we have to look at A 2 does 2 uh, occur in any of the in, in all of the other in B and C no it doesn't does 4 no it doesn't 6 there there and there yes it does uh, A, 10, no. Okay, so A intersection, B intersection, C contains one element, and that element is 6. A intersection, C, uh, you know how to do that. Just look for what's here. Does it occur here? And just generate that list. A intersection, B, and B intersection, C. And then when you've done that, you can proceed to draw your Venn diagram. Okay, so you draw your universal set. Uh, you draw your three sets, and I like to always start there and just come around, okay? And A intersection, B intersection, C goes in here, that's this area here, that's six. Uh, A intersection, C, so this is A, B, C. Now A intersection, C is six and eight, so A intersection, C is this area here. And we already have the 6, we just write the 8. A intersection B then is this area here, but we already have the 6 accounted for in the middle. So we write 4 there, and uh, here we have the 6 accounted for B intersection C. Uh, that's this area here. Uh, we, have our, we write our 5 in there. We then fill in the other elements for A, 2 and 10. Uh, for B is 3, and for C is 7. And then we look towards the universal set to find those elements that aren't in A, B, or C. This is the none area, if you like. That's 1, 9, 11, and 12. Okay. So how do we uh, locate, just as a way of finding uh, A, uh, 
uh, or we're asked to find in the question A intersection B less C. So there's two ways to do that. The first thing is to, is to locate A intersection B, which is here, so all of that, and cover C. And in covering C then, we cover the C part, if we cover all of this, then what's in here is our answer, and that's 4. Okay. Or another way then, another way is the cross and divide method, is just to list the contents of uh, A intersection B over the contents of C and just cross out uh, what occurs on the top of what occurs on the bottom. Whatever you're left with is your answer. Now look at this, find uh, B less uh, A intersection B intersection C. So you can locate B, so it's easy to locate B on our diagram. And uh, actually I'll rub this out for a second. Hang on. So, so we can uh, locate B and cover the intersection of A intersection. So we if we locate B, that's B, and if we cover up A intersection, so that's that the part that's in here, then any elements that are listed uh, here, here, and in there is our answer. Or we can just write out the the contents of B, which is three, four, five, six. Okay, that's from here. Over the contents of uh, the intersection of A, B, and C, which is six. Cross out what we see, and whatever's left on top is the answer. Okay, let's talk about the associative uh, property. Basically, all the associative property says is that A. If we have uh, three sets, A, B, and C, A intersection B intersection C is the very same as A intersection B intersection C. Okay, so if I have uh, three sets and I find A intersection B and then A intersection B intersection C, or I find B intersection C and then A intersection B intersection C, I can see that uh, these two are equal. This is equal to this. So it's just saying really that uh, the order of where we place the pairings doesn't really matter. Okay? But just be careful and know again that for set difference that's not associative. So A less B less C is not the same as A less brackets B less C. Okay? And just using the quick divide uh, method, uh, we could just we can just find what is A less B, put A over B and cross out what you see. What you're left with is one and six. Uh, so A less B less C just put your 1 and 6, A less, which is this, over your C, and cross there, and you end up with 1. Okay, and then do it the other way, then A less B less C. B less C is the same method, 2, 5, 7. A less B is the same, put your contents of A over your 2, 5, 7, and cross out there, you get 1, 3, 6, and 1 is not equal to 1, 3, 6, so it's not associative. And if we look at the distributive property, all that says is that the union of sets is distributive over intersection of sets. So in other words, if I have A union B intersection C, that's the same as A union B intersection A union C. It's kind of like the old uh, algebra. Okay? And also, the intersection of sets is distributive over the union of sets. Of sets. So if I have A intersection B union C that's the same as A intersection B union A intersection C and in on page page 41 of the textbook question 10 lists these three sets A is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 C is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and we're asked to show that uh, a union, the B intersection C, is equal to A union B intersection A union C. So find B intersection C, there it is. Find A union B intersection C, so we list all of A and we add on anything that we need to add on at the end. A union B uh, is list all of A and add on what we need to on the end. A union C, add on all of A and what we need to on the end. And you can see that A union B intersection A union C so these two, the intersection of these, is equal to that value there, 
which is also the same as here. So that's kind of proof that.